Hey everyone, it's Bree, and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team, and I am going to be working with the gorgeous March Kit. Uh, here are the colors that come in this kit. The first one was a Spritz in Cotton Candy. The second is a Shimmerings in Goldilocks, a really gorgeous gold. Uh, an exclusive color, which is brand new, it's Spritz in Sweet Pea. It is a beautiful shade of purple. There's a Creamies in Sky's the Limit, which is a gorgeous little blue there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start getting it wet so it can start uh, mixing. And then there's a Creamies in Refreshment. And both of these need water just to activate it, so I've got them soaking. Uh, we also get uh, pastel epoxy, like, uh, they're also called spots. Uh, they're little embellishments for your pages, as well as we get these hot air balloon stickers, which are adorable and I love so much, as well as this exclusive cut file, which is a hot air balloon. Now, I cut it out on some uh, plain white textured cardstock. And I left it on my mat because I am going to actually just paint the entire cut file. Now, I don't know why I'm painting this right here. I thought I was... Okay, so I had an idea of painting the insides of the cut file and then backing the cut file with that, those mixed media um, elements that I painted. So basically just to back it with mixed media. Um, but then I changed my mind. And you'll see here in a second that that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and actually paint the entire cut file and then I'm going to back it with vellum. Now, um, if you have seen a post or read the blog post or as well and on social media, there is a March challenge that we'd love for y'all to enter and all of us um, design team members are creating layouts without using any pattern paper. So there is an opportunity to win a great prize to the shop. So definitely check the blog post out and um, that way you can get more information, but we'd love for y'all to create a layout without using any pattern paper and just using mixed media. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, that's why I am just painting the entire cut file and I'm gonna back it with some vellum. So I am just painting my cut file um, just pretty uh, close to what everything is. Like the leaves, I'm going to be painting green using the refreshment. And then I've already painted a few of the flowers using that new color, Sweet Pea, which is a spritz. Um, yeah, so basically that's all I'm doing here. And these kits are so gorgeous. I love March so much. There is just so many neat elements to it, like the little um, enamel dots, which are basically spots. And I think I showed it, but I didn't even talk about it. But you also get the Hello Sun dots, which are epoxy flares. And it comes with some adhesive foam, but I usually, sometimes I take it out, but sometimes I keep it on. So you can uh, have it with dimension or you can keep it flat. And I thought, I think I may have showed it. I just um, was already talking and not really paying attention. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you do get a set of dots. You also get the new spots and um, all these colors that you see here, as well as the cut file and then the hot air balloon sticker. This, can we talk about how pretty the sky's the limit creamies color is? I've never played with this color. I absolutely love it so much. It is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Uh, all the colors in this kit are so soft and so just ready for spring. Uh, it, we're on spring break right now, but I have, I am not a winter lover. If you know me personally, I love sunshine. I love warmth. I do not like being in the cold. Uh, and it did get pretty cold here for a while. And then it was really, really rainy and cloudy for honestly two months straight. It was just cloudy and, and just gross. So I'm ready for some sunshine. I'm ready for flowers. I'm ready to feel great. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so making this layout was so much fun. It was, you know, I'm so ready for spring and it was completely prepping me and making me feel like it was already spring. Okay, so I'm almost done painting my entire cut file. I do leave it on the mat. That way uh, it does not bubble up and it doesn't warp as badly if it's still sticking to the mat. So that is a healthy, not healthy, oh my gosh, helpful <laughs> tip for y'all is if you are painting on a cut file, uh, try leaving it on the mat. It doesn't ruin my um, silhouette mat. I don't apply too much liquid, and but you can see it is already starting to pull up and warp. But if I were to have removed it from the uh, mat, it would warp a little bit more. So I did let this dry overnight just to make sure that all of the elements of the cut file was dry completely. Now, uh, if you wanted more of an intense color, 
on your cut file or on whatever you're painting. Obviously adding a few different coats or a few uh, coats of the same color will make your colors more bright and um, intense. I wanted to stay more on the soft side, so I only applied one coat. I did go back in and add a few more or a little bit more paint just to add some different colors and shading, but I kept everything light. So I am backing the entire cut file on a piece of vellum and I trimmed it and kept that off camera uh, to save you from watching me fiddle with it. Now I do have to say I'm creating a new background right now. I wanted a more cotton candy purpley kind of sky and the first layout I created was a lot of blue and it, to me it just overshadowed the cut file and was too dark because I had painted the cut file very light. So you will see a bit of that blue background um, towards, I guess, towards the middle or end of the video because I do use a portion of it to back my photo with. I didn't want to waste it and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch shapes out of that mixed media background. Uh, that way I can get some use out of it in the future. So I have taken the spritz in cotton candy and then I'm also taking a little bit of the sky's the limit as well to help create that cotton candy sunset kind of look that uh, we see uh, every now and then uh, in the spring as well in the summer. So I'm just lightly painting it and keeping it very light and soft and not too dark and I love how it's turning out. So just painting and blending and um, adding the color on and letting it run and doing some splatters. I just really wanted a soft background for my hot air balloon. Very simple. I'm using some marshmallow basil cardstock and I did prep it with some white gesso and let it dry. That way my colors will not be absorbed into the uh, cardstock. I just spent a little bit of time creating this background. Cleaning off my areas. I'm being real good. Oh, here's a, a up close look. I'm being real good at keeping my glass mat clean. <laughs> All right, so there is my uh, background and there is my cut file on there. Uh, I love how it turned out. I am using this photo of my sons. Uh, they It was on Easter. I believe this was back in 2011, maybe 12. I think it was 11. And there is my original background right there. Now, it's not like crazy dark. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I did paint some clouds on there using some white acrylic paint to help kind of mute it or to tone it back down. But to me, it was still a bit too dark. And since I painted the outside of my hot air balloon, uh, that purple, it seemed like it kind of got lost. So that's why I decided to go with the lighter background and then went ahead and backed my photo using that mixed media uh, background that I originally created. So I've got my dots situated around my page. I am using bits and pieces of the Paige Evans Bloom Collection that I got in my Hip Kit Club kit for this month, or actually it was last month. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I keep fiddling with my camera. Uh, I was I had it plugged in, so it was charging, and since it was up high, it seemed to be the cord kept like pulling on it and tilting it, and I don't think I realize it until the next clip. So hopefully I do fix it, because now you can see my iPad and you know the rest of my desk, and it's just not a nice looking view. All right, so I do pop the entire hot air balloon up on some foam strips to give it dimension. And I am going to go ahead and start adhering some of these bits and pieces from the Bloom Collection. I chose a few floral pieces because the hot air balloon does have florals, as well as um, I just wanted it to tie all together. And um, I'm working with those cute hot air balloon stickers. I do only peel one of the backings off of the balloons, and then I pop um, the other, let's see, no, yeah, I popped two of them on some foam ad, uh, adhesive as well. That way it'll give it some dimension and create some shadow. And they're just so cute. I wanted them to kind of be floating off in the distance and give it a look. You know, like when you, we have like a hot air balloon. It's not a rally. I forget what they call it, but there's a bunch of hot air balloons that come and they all get, like, um, they all fly in the sky and it just looks so pretty and so beautiful. So that's the look I was going for there. And so now I'm adding some tangled thread behind some of my dots there. Uh, this specific thread, I think I grabbed a different, like a, uh, a more thick thread. So it doesn't loop and it's not easily manipulated. So it's a little more stiff. So I kind of struggled with that hot pink, um, but I got it to work. 
and adhering my little dot down and then uh, getting that floral piece down as well. That's from the ephemera pack from Paige's collection. And making sure that I add some um, adhesive so everything sticks like the actual wet glue just to make sure that nothing falls off my page because I do have a lot of gesso on uh, already on my page. So here is some blue thread. It's probably one of my favorite threads. It's I just love that shade of blue and it really matches the sky's the limit creamies perfectly. So I'm going to tuck that underneath the floral and then I'm going to put one of the um, dots on top of that. And that one says, I think it, what did it say? Spring is in the air. Because it was, it was Easter and I had had the boys um, stand in front of our front door and take a little photo. And they were, <laughs> I think I snapped like 10 photos because of course they were antsy and ready to uh, go egg hunting and they could see some eggs in the distance. So they were ready and it's tough. It's tough being, you know, uh, three and how old? Five and, you know, wanting to go Easter egg hunting and your mom just, of course, is a scrapbooker, so has to take a bunch of shots. <laughs> All right, so I'm working with that four-page sticker book from the Bloom Street collection and adding some bits here and there, tucking in some um, florals, and I did add that little border scalloped rainbow sticker right there. And I'm adding this sticker. It says love is, no, love grows here and adding a little foam piece uh, underneath it that way everything's balanced and I'm sorry if I do sound sound a little stuffy I've been fighting this sinus thing for I think I'm going on two weeks now and I, it's just in my head and oh, I just can't wait to get rid of it uh, so I'm pulling also some sticker or I'm also pulling some stickers from the 6x12 cardstock sticker sheet and then I'm going to be applying these so cute past uh pastel epoxy spots and getting those on my page and I'm just showing you the shimmer and how my hot air balloon looks I just love I had so much fun creating this page I had I love it so much um, but look at all that shimmer so so pretty and let's see working on my title I'm pulling some of these fray stickers from paint fresh studio and I'm always forgetting what collection this is called. I did want to put um, favorite moment. Um, so I use fave and then moment was too big. So I just chose a white alpha from the, I think it's super cool collection. And I'm adding a few splatters from, I think that was uh, Sweet Pea. Is that a, it's a new color in the kit. I added some of those splatters and then I think that's it. I don't think I add anything else. I think I'm thinking about it. I think I add the Goldilocks shimmer shimmerings as well, which is very similar to a gold, uh, the gold Heidi Swap color shine. Yep, but that's it. Stay tuned for the final layout. Don't forget to add my name in the notes or comment section of your next order, and you'll receive a little freebie. Uh, here are some up close shots. Thanks again so much for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate your comments and your likes, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.